Welcome to Upbeat. Sunday marked the 2014 Tony Awards, known as Broadway's Biggest Night. The live three-hour ceremony was covered by CBS. Audra McDonald made Tony history, honoured with her sixth Tony Award, best performance by an actress in a leading role. Making his Broadway debut, Brian Cranston skipped all the way with best performance by an actor in a leading role. The event was hosted by a bouncing Hugh Jackman with performances by the cast of Hedwig and the Angry Inch, Rocky and many others. I don't know much about bands, but I do know you can make a living selling big trombones. No, no sir. sir. Handling picks by hats and here and there a juice hop. Nope. The fellow sells bands, boys bands. I don't know. Let's dress up like the disco bands and jet set in my line and roll. And if you got some sugar for me, sugar daddy, bring it home. Mark Hamill is busy preparing to return as Luke Skywalker for Star Wars Episode 7 by visiting the Disney Studios. The Jedi visited over Star Wars weekend. Tweeting a photo with a lightsaber bearing Mickey Mouse, the actor is keeping up with the times. The latest Star Wars cast update included two females, 12 Years a Slave's Lupita Nyong'o and Game of Thrones' Gwendolyn Christie. I stink so much I make myself gay. serve the Starks. I serve Lady Catelyn. I told her I'd take you to King's Landing and that's what I'm going to do. Stay. Sandra Bullock's Beverly Hills home was broken into over the weekend while she was there. The police were contacted after the actress discovered a man had gained access to her property. He is now in custody but we don't know if he was a thief or stalker or perhaps both. According to NBC News, the actress was unharmed. Sandra Bullock had been awarded the Decade of Hotness Award at Spike TV's Guys' Choice Awards just hours before the invasion. Former Saturday Night Live cast member and 30 Rock actor Tracy Morgan was involved in a fatal car crash on Saturday. Travelling from a stand-up comedy show in Delaware, a tractor trailer rammed into his limo bus. Among his entourage, there was one fatality with three in critical condition, including Morgan. Hospitalised with multiple broken bones, the comedian is currently more responsive, which is an encouraging sign. Two films with quite different budgets celebrated the same opening weekend, but results at the domestic box office did not reflect their respective investment. The Fault in Our Stars shot to the top with $48.2 million, while Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt's Edge of Tomorrow slipped with $29.1 million, proving to be more successful overseas. The big budget film cost $178 million, whilst The Fault in Our Stars was created with only $12 million. Over the weekend, a predominantly female audience was responsible for the top two films, The Fault in Our Stars and the already released Maleficent, with Edge of Tomorrow settling for third place. Stay upbeat. Oh, come on! Ah!